The Christian Liberty Party is a minor conservative political party in the United States, which was formerly known as the American Heritage Party. It began as a state affiliate of the Constitution Party then known as the Taxpayers' Party. It disaffiliated from the National Party, reorganized itself as a national party and took the "'Christian Liberty Party' name. History Foundation The Christian Liberty Party began as a Washington state affiliate of the U.S. Taxpayers' Party in 1992, under the name of the "'American Heritage Party", primarily as a campaign vehicle for William C. Goodlow, a former Justice of the Washington Supreme Court, who ran for the United States Senate that year. After meeting Howard Phillips in 1991, Goodlow agreed to form a state party affiliate in support of a new national party effort. Goodlow changed the name of his fledgling party from the American Party to Washington Taxpayers Party. WTP. Judge Goodlow helped Phillips gain ballot access for the U.S. Taxpayers Party in Washington, allowing Phillips to run as a WTP presidential candidate during the 1992 campaign, while Goodlow also ran as a WTP candidate. In 1993, Goodlow left the Taxpayers Party and the state party became defunct. He turned the records and checking account over to Todd Rickert who was appointed state coordinator by the National Party. Topic: 1996 elections. For the 1996 election cycle, Todd Rickert recruited activists to assist with ballot access. Howard Phillips flew out to attend the ballot access meetings, insisting that formal party organizing should be part of the agenda. Rickert was elected state chairman. For the second time, Howard Phillips was the presidential nominee of the U.S. Taxpayers Party. Topic: 1998 elections. For the 1998 election cycle, the American Heritage Party fielded two candidates for Congress, Bruce Craswell, in the 1st Congressional District and John Beale in the 5th Congressional District. Structure Even before the elections were over, activists expressed a strong desire for a more permanent state party, rather than only to seek ballot access at each election. Rickert instituted a formal party membership system in November 1996, and recruited a small policy board which would work to organize a formal party structure. It was mutually agreed that, at the next organizing convention, the policy board would encourage the membership to endorse a slate of state officers which included Dan Eby assuming position as state chairman. Most of the state membership preferred the name, "'American Heritage Party' to "'Washington Taxpayers Party." So when EB called a special convention for considering the name change, the nays were few. The Washington Taxpayers Party became the American Heritage Party in 1998, but still a state affiliate of the U.S. Taxpayers Party. Topic: 2000 election. For the 2000 election cycle, the National Party held its nominating convention a year early, in 1999 in St. Louis, in order to take advantage of campaign fundraising laws. At this convention, the National Party changed its name to the Constitution Party. The National Convention revealed to the AHP State Party leadership a number of growing concerns centered on worldview, strategy, philosophy and ethics. Topic: Party split. EB called a special convention for disaffiliation of the AHP from the National Party in November 1999. The motion did not pass, but became official in the spring of 2000. In March 2000, former members reorganized as the New Constitution Party of Washington (CPW) and elected Rickert as chairman. Rickert immediately applied to the National Party for formal consideration as the new state affiliate. The American Heritage Party was expelled from the Constitution Party and replaced by the CPW as the state affiliate. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> National Party Status. The AHP organized a national party in 2000 and EB was elected chairman. Topic: <laughs> Name change. On November 18, 2010 the American Heritage Party announced that, after extensive review and consideration, the AHP would change its name to the «Christian Liberty Party» to «ensure that our name, message and principles are fully and explicitly developed from God's Word». Electoral history Topic: President of the United States. Topic: United States Congress. Topic: Notes. Topic: External links. Official Christian Liberty Party website Educational website of Christian Liberty Party 72nd American View interviews Daniel Eby national chairman American Heritage Party Bruce Craswell's voter pamphlet statement John Beale's voter pamphlet statement